Hey everybody, this is Larry. This is one of uh, one of the prompts I saw for the bi-weekly contest twenty nine. Uh, I'm gonna put the explanation in the beginning, and then I'm gonna do the live coding of it afterwards. Let me know what you think about this format. I'm still playing with it, and here we, um, yeah, Q one average salary excluding the minimum and maximum salary. So the so because all the salaries are unique, you can actually do this in linear time by going through the way, finding the minimum and then and the maximum at the same time, and then just do a sum, subtract them, and then you know do this division. Um, so that would be linear time. But since n is equal to 100 and I was a little bit lazy, um, I just sorted it. Uh, this is only for contest for interview. Definitely do the linear time one. But so I sort it and then I just subtract the max and the min. And just divided by the number of elements divided over uh, number of elements minus two. So this, if you did this in, if you you could get the min and the max in linear time. So if you did that, then that would be linear time, uh, constant space. Uh, if you did what I did, then it's going to be a little bit more maximum salary. So this problem uh, seems pretty straightforward. I read it. Uh, the only thing that I double checked was um, the whether item, item elements were unique. That's kind of what I look up and down for. Uh, but it, I was like, eh, I guess it doesn't, and all, and all what happens when it is not unique. Uh, but once, as soon as I saw that it was unique, uh, it didn't matter. Uh, there's a linear time algorithm for this, but I just saw it because it was easier to type and not have to think about it. Probably wasn't even that much easier, but because I could just write min of that instead. But um, but yeah, but pretty straightforward problem. Just take the sum of all the elements minus the the min and the max, and then. And that's pretty much all, all there is to it. Pretty straightforward.